Guys, this is the river uh, next to my place. So this river was just passing by there, 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 there. There was no this uh, formation of Kadam here. Now, uh, if it will continue like this for the next two days, I want to be crossing over to the other side because we have like a bridge there that is already submerged. So I don't know. Yeah, so this is the advance. Um, problem that the rains have caused. And right now we are going to Mahimahi. We are going to Mahimahi whereby people are swept by water. And this is my place, so I'm going to other people's places, but then my place is also submerged. So. Uh, Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking. My name is Taj. And in today, I'm currently in Naivasha, a place called Dalamea. This is a famous stopover whereby you get to stop it. Uh, it's, yeah. And in today's video, we are going out. We are going to uh, Mahimahi. Uh, actually, the, there was a tragedy which happened there. So we are going there to see what everything looks like you know people are swept away by water because it is it's currently raining in kenya it's currently raining that's why uh we're going there to see how we can help as grow tree uh, the victims you know there are victims of floods and everything so we're going there to see and get to access and see how it goes you know yeah so yeah this place it's called highly's just uh, along the Nairobi Nakuru Hayu. So, yeah. Guys, let me know what you think. Have you been to El, uh, my Matthew? Do you know about the tragedy? Um, what do you think the government should do about it? You know, leave a comment, let me know. Yeah, so let's go. Uh, so, for me, it's like an hour. It's, it's like an hour to that place. It's called my Mahi. So, we're in Naivasha, so it's like an hour to that place. Yeah. So let's go and explore and see the situation there. Yeah. So 
kusoma gari zilikuwa hapa ziliosha sasa Here already. Um, the place is so confused. Uh, I believe they still they in shock, you know. Like so, this is like the rescue center. This is where everybody is right now. Many donations are coming in. People are bringing in their donations, like mattresses, food stuff, and everything. So now, yeah, the governor is also here. The governor of Nakuru County is also here, and she's, she's just gone inside. So. I believe she also brought some donations uh, for the victims. And yeah, so this is the current situation here. It's raining, it's drizzling. So it's, the situation is messed up right now. But this is how everything looks like. Good afternoon. Um, as you can see, today is still another day that we are here at this uh, at Gaya Girls Secondary School, which has served as our command center in coordinating all that is going on, but also where we have been hosting the displaced people, as you can see. We have Red Cross here as well, and uh, Rotary Club and many other humanitarian organizations that are here and even people in their individual capacity who have come out here to be with us and to work with us in this very difficult journey and to help us as we continue now um, you can see quite a bit of activity here today than perhaps the other days and the reason being we are now moving our displaced persons or people from this facility to another facility about uh, 10 minutes away from here and the reason being as you can see we're in a school so eventually the school will need its facilities to get ready for the kids to come back to school uh, but what we have done we have split we had about 304 displaced person pa people and about which were about 90 households so what we have done we have split it into two groups there were those before the water, the flooding, were renting the, the, the homes they were in. So those ones have agreed that we, we have helped them, we have come together, helped them with rent for three months, helped them with starter, we would call them starter kits, where you have seen us giving about like three mattresses, blankets, towels, sheets, uh, 50 kg rice, 50 kg beans, uh, sabuni, and uh, a few other things, a few other items, uh, diapers for those with children and uh, utensils, some kitchen utensils. We've had a lot of clothes here today uh, being distributed and that sort of stuff. So for those ones, as you can see the vehicles here, we are getting their packages loaded into the vehicles. We have paid the, the landlords, had them sign and now we are taking those people into those new homes, so to speak. So there were 46 renters, households that were renting. In addition to the 46, 10 of our homeowners have agreed, instead of going to the other facility, to also be part of those who will, will rent as we wait for a more permanent uh, situation, I mean, more permanent solution. So with those as well, we've done the renting, uh, the, we've paid the landlords, we've also put together a package, and they will be being transported. This morning, we were able to recover two other bodies this morning. So our death toll is now at 58. Initially it was 55, came 56 for a reason there. Now we have the two, so we have 58 confirmed dead. We still have 32 missing, but obviously when the two are identified, perhaps the number will reduce to maybe about 30. So that is, uh, 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 that is something that's really happening with a lot of uh, deliberate effort, especially with the Kenya Defense Forces, the NYS and everybody out there uh, trying to help us find those bodies. Now, we are in the process of planning about funerals for these people. 
uh, tentatively, we are talking about Wednesday for a memorial service next week, but we are waiting on some details. As we had promised, the national government, together with the county government, will be helping families with the barriers. So we are waiting still to figure out together what that help will look like. But in the next day or so, we should have that information. Uh, now, the other big, huge thing is in the last two days, we have had a lot of rainfall in this area. And what is now happening is a lot of the areas that we had thought were probably safer are no longer very safe. So what we are doing in combined effort with those mapped areas, with our administration, led by our county commissioner, the chiefs, the DOs and all that, is making sure that those people, those families in areas that are not safe are being asked to move to safer areas because we do not want to have this sort of a tragedy again and especially when we all know what can happen out of that kind of a disaster. So that is what we are doing in addition now to just the general works of trying to fix our infrastructure that has been quite affected so that people can even move from one area to the next. So that is kind of what is happening. So well, my name is Joa Bokelo, uh, Regional Coordinator for Rotary Activities in the Rift Valley. Uh, Rift Valley clubs have come together to be able to respond to the tragedy that happened at Maimahiu. So today we came to do a sort of a needs assessment to be able to determine what we can be able uh, to help with. Uh, we really appreciate uh, the agencies and the government who have come. Uh, they have come through and supported in the basic needs. Uh, more Rotary is interested in the uh, sustainable part of uh, the help, especially the relocation of the beneficiaries and those who are moving to the, 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 the places where they are renting. So the government has paid rent for about three months for those who are moving to the rented houses, uh, but we are also keen on uh, identifying especially those who will be moving back to their homes and how much it will cost maybe to put up a, a structure. So we've come as the Rotary Clubs in the Rift and we are appealing for all the well-wishers to be able to hold our hands so that we can be able to respond to this need. Uh, we are planning to do another trip here next week once they are moved to different uh, locations to be able to see some of the emerging needs that we'll be able to respond to. So thankfully we want to thank those who have uh, come through so far and supported us in uh, uh, donations in kind and finances. So thank you so, so much and uh, we are looking forward to support this community. Thank you. Yeah, so we're gonna go and eat right now. We are so tired. We've been here for like four hours. So I'm gonna go and eat. I'm so starving. I'm so crusty. My lips are so crusty. So let's go and get to eat. Imagine you can't be bought. Guys, this is where everything happens. Imagine being swept away at the middle of the night. Oh my god. And guys, we are stuck. The car is stuck. The roads are so bad that the car is stuck. The other car is just stuck there. And then, oh my god, we are just stuck.
Nah, ini apa yang ini? Lo nanya aja ini Sebaik aku juga nanti kalau gitu Saya majur nyata lah aja ini Ya, aku nge-jam sih Saya harus ngambil dua nih Wah Oh my god, look at this Dan nah, penyapa kuna kuana shimo kubwa Ya? Penyapa kuna kuana shimo kubwa Hmm Hmm This river, like this is the river uh, on your way to Naivasha. Our normal days, it doesn't flood this much. But then today, yo, pizza. Guys, this is the situation right here. 